Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again. I just wanted to make a quick video about a new game which is just announced by Ubisoft yesterday. Um, I bet you would never guess what this game is just based on the trailers. So when I first saw it, I'll tell you what I thought it was for. I thought it was for a um, more of a maybe a World War II version of Army Men. Or plastic army men. I can't remember the the title <laughs> titles of the game. Or I, I just remember playing Army Men: Sarge's Heroes, Army Men: World War, and uh, the game really looks kind of like a more. This looks like a more modern version of it, and that's what I initially thought is that it was a World War II take on plastic army men, and um, I'd be totally wrong. You know, I, I did a, did a preview or a. A review of the trailer for Rome Total War 2 when that first came out, the very first one, and I was somewhat critical of it because it um, really didn't show any gameplay. And I'll be I'll be honest, I'm excited for Rome Total War 2 now. It looks great. I just I, I didn't like that take of the trailer, even though you know later trailers did show gameplay. Now this is a launch announcement trailer for a different game, and it does not show any actual gameplay either. But I have a different complaint with this one. I can see what Rome was trying to do um, with their trailer. I don't think this trailer will appeal to the market that would be interested in this game at all. This makes it look like maybe a third person shooter, maybe a first person shooter, um, some kind of high intensity uh, war game. Um, definitely not really a strategy game or anything along those lines. There's a few things that allude to it, um, but Panzer General? Really? I mean, if anyone has played Panzer General before, would you think this trailer was for a new Panzer General game? I know I certainly wouldn't. Now, at the very least, Ubisoft did release a few uh, screenshots here of the game, and... Um, there's at least that, so you know there's that that positive aspect, and it is somewhat interesting to see them coming out with a, a Panzer General game. It's going to be free to play. Uh, it's going to be, which probably means free to win. It's going to be a browser-based game, and um, I, I haven't seen a release date yet for it. Like I said, they just announced the game yesterday, but I'm really concerned, honestly, with this. I, I just think it's going to be a waste of time. I think it's going to be a dumbed-down, simplified. Um, attempt to basically clone Panzer General, and I think it'll probably um, be pretty boring for most war game strategy fans. I mean, let's be honest, that trailer had nothing to do with strategy. It didn't look anything like a war strategy game or something that would get you excited for a war strategy game. Um, at least the trail, you know, if, if you did something like that for a war game air land battle, I could see that because it's not a hex based game. Um, it is definitely a good graph, you know, a game with good graphics. But for Panzer General, which is a, a, a hex based, turn based war game, it just doesn't seem to fit at all. Um, and, you know, I, I couldn't help but thinking why, why is Ubisoft deciding to release this game now after so many years? They're releasing a new version of Panzer General because I guess they're the ones who own the rights. And, you know what? Other than jumping on the free-to-play in the browser-based bandwagon, which I don't think is going to make them maybe the kind of money they're hoping for, although I, I doubt this game costs very much to develop, I honestly think it's because of uh, Panzer Corps, the, the Panzer General remake put out by Slytherin and, and Matrix, which, according to a uh, Slytherin uh, post on the Steam page, sold over 200,000 copies. Um, or total units. Now that probably includes DLC because I doubt a company that size would be able to to ship that many units. Uh, it's possible. It certainly is, especially with digital distribution, but I, I doubt it. Still, um, I can't help but thinking the fact that Panzer Corps was without a doubt a tremendously successful game published by uh, Matrix and Slytherin Games um, and put out by the Lord Games Studio that Ubisoft's trying to jump on the bandwagon here. Um, I think it's going to be a much more simplified and less entertaining version of it, but I guess we'll see. Um, I guess you don't want to judge a book by its cover. As much as I don't like that trailer, you really don't want to judge a book by its cover. So um, I think it'll look less like Panzer General and pa Allied General, and I think it'll look more just like a generic hex-based AAA attempt to, to make some money. But I guess we'll see. 
uh, anyway, the point of this is it was a new game that was released or announced yesterday, and uh, let's keep our eyes out on it. Also, if this is something that interests you, just to give you a heads up, there is a link in the description to the page for the game, and they are taking applicants for a closed beta right now for the game, so if that's something that interests you, check out the link.